So good evening, one and all present over here. Myself, Ashita Bhardhani of class 8. Energy conservation means the efforts taken to reduce the energy consumption in order to save the resources for the future and to reduce the environmental pollution. In this rapidly developing world, people are hugely dependent on energy to fuel its technology. And, you know, energy conservation has become very, very important nowadays. One unit of energy conserved is equal to two units of energy produced. And it is the need of the hour to conserve energy for the future and to protect our planet Earth. We all present over here and everyone can conserve energy by taking simple initiatives and simple changes in their daily lifestyles. Like turning off the lights and fans when you leave the room and unplugging of appliances when not in use and walking and cycling instead of driving can be done when you have to travel short distances. And we must try to use alternative energy sources such as wind energy, solar energy, hydro energy, geothermal energy and biomass and so on instead of fossil fuels. And we must try our level best to conserve energy. And at our homes, like uh, the major appliances like television, air conditioner, refrigerator, washing machine, geyser, hold a major part in our monthly utility bill. So we must be very careful while selecting its sizing, energy efficiency, power consumption and star rating as well. Of course, four star rated and five star rated appliances will be a bit costlier compared to them. But they will help us a lot to conserve energy. Energy efficient appliances not only help us to conserve energy and money, but also to protect our environment. Energy efficiency means usage of less power to do the same task and to produce the same result. Now, I would like to propose some uh, methods for energy conservation in effective and efficient manner. First, uh, introduction of energy taxation. Second, enforcement of energy audits. And third, um, creating more awareness about energy conservation by the state and the central level authorities. And at last, the fourth, uh, inculcating of habits of con energy conservation in the schools at the primary level. In the conclusion, I would like to say that energy conservation should be the topmost priority by all the citizens. And Mahatma Gandhi was right when he said, Our planet Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs, but not every man's greed. So I would like to thank the forum for giving me an opportunity for expressing my thoughts and views. Thank you.